John asked me to introduce the panel, and um, so like any good uh, researcher, I went to the web to get everyone's background. And uh, I had probably 200 pages of documents that I could use to introduce this panel. Everyone has a 20-page bio. Uh, we're talking about a group that uh, has managed uh, hundreds of billions of dollars in market cap, hundreds of thousands of employees. We have PhDs, patents, uh, world leaders, people who write books. Uh, so our first exercise in, in creativity is um, I'm asking each panelist to introduce themselves, because I want to see what they're going to say. Uh, <clears throat> and all of us are, um, it's actually interesting because um, Wikipedia, the great equalizer, everyone on the panel is on Wikipedia. And my problem with Wikipedia is that I'm sure that some of my former girlfriends keep going on there to change my bio. And um, so after this, you all have the license to go on Wikipedia and change anything you want on, on, all, of our, uh, on all of our biographies. Um, but why don't we start? Um, Craig, since you're already like, you know, the rock star of, of, of the day, why, why don't, I'm interested to see how you are going to introduce yourself to this crowd. I have no former girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, well, I've been coming to Ireland on business for 20 years. Uh, uh, it's been a well, I was working at Intel, and I'm retired about a year ago. It was a fantastic win-win relationship between the company and the country. I think both uh, benefited equally. Uh, I've been impressed with uh, all of our Irish employees, Irish education system. Uh, perhaps the reason I have a special feeling for Ireland is my grandmother came from Northern Ireland, immigrated to the U.S. about 100 years ago. So I have an Irish ancestry in the background. And I'm just interested in what Ireland's going to do when it grow, grows up. So that's why I'm here today. <laughs> John. So my name is John Ryan. I was born in Tipperary Town. Um, that makes me a monster man. And it was great to see Monster kick some Australian butt last night. <laughs> um, I moved to America in 1974, worked with a number of companies there, and um, started my own company in 1982, took it public in 1997. It did very well, and so far as I'm concerned now, it's payback time. Um, I, was, I am, was the beneficiary of a uh, free and excellent Irish education, and I want to give something back, and uh, John Hartnett's idea for the ITLG is a wonderful way to do that. That's why I'm here. Mr. McHenry. Uh, Tom McHenry, uh, when you talked about all the wonderful things people on this panel had done, I, I thought I was on the wrong panel, and I <laughs> probably am. Rich said, sit on the couch, and I, uh, I, I think uh, he knows me well. I think of uh, uh, Gabriel Byrne and his uh, in treatment, where he sits for a half an hour and listens to the problems of, of the world. Uh, well, we, I read the morning uh, paper, so I, I have my share of that already. Uh, I'm in business in San Jose. I'm a partner with John Hartnett and the Irish Innovation Center. Uh, in, in government, uh, uh, I've been involved in, with a lot of companies, particularly having the, uh, the, the privilege to work with uh, uh, the uh, O'Connell, Parnell, uh, uh, Collins of uh, Silicon Valley, uh, Craig Barrett, uh, Gordon Moore, and Bob Noyce in uh, a number of their uh, ventures, but particularly I was at the groundbreaking of uh, Intel here in 1988, which uh, I think is the seminal moment in the creation of the Celtic Tiger. And I'm very proud to be associated with the ITLG, which uh, I think has uh, a lot of teeth to the diaspora. Bill. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Bill McKiernan. Uh, my grandparents emigrated to the uh, US from County Leitrim about 100 years ago. And uh, I started above a, uh, a barber shop in, in Menlo Park, California, about 16 years ago, a company called CyberSource. And uh, we do payment processing for about 300,000 e-commerce 
companies around the world. Um, we process about $120 billion of, uh, of volume every year. Um, it, it was 16 long years, and then three months ago, CyberSource was acquired by Visa for $2 billion. Um, so we're one of the success stories that you hear about in, in Silicon Valley. But, uh, but I will tell you, it's, it's a long 16 years to get there. <laughs> I usually introduce myself as being the uh, token non-silicon-based organism on the panel. But yesterday in Galway, there was blank faces when I said that. I'm noticing at least some recognition out there of what a non-silicon-based organism is. I'm actually with the other university that's in California. The biggest one, actually. In fact, the biggest <laughs> university system in the world. And also quite creative. <laughs> Uh, uh, Craig told me I need to get a lesson in humility when I say that, uh, says so someone coming from Silicon Valley. The program I actually run is the University of California's system-wide uh, biotech research and education program, hence the comment on the uh, carbon versus silicon. And um, uh, the, the, I'm not going to ask the audience how many campuses there are. Again, most people think of UC Berkeley and UCLA, but in fact there are 10 campuses uh, in the University of California system and three national labs. We actually do manage Lawrence Berkeley, Lawrence Livermore, and Los Alamos. And a lot of people don't realize that. And, and in fact, part of the reason that I went there, it's rather interesting, I left Ireland just as Intel was breaking ground here in 1988. So I guess I left before the tiger started. And part of the reason I went there is because of the fact that there is such an incredible air of innovation in California, quite frankly. And uh, it's, it's possible to replicate that. So, I mean, later I'm going to talk specifically about some ideas there. Uh, but I really do think that um, if you're going to look at for the future of innovation, the university system, the basic research, the excitement that comes out of those type of uh, creative uh, uh, you know, boiler, the cauldrons of innovation, shall we say, that exists, and I'm not talking about tectonic plates on the West Coast, uh, there really is where you can get creativity. And so being in the University of Limerick and seeing all of those <coughs> partnerships that are going on here is very, very, uh, um, and I guess I would say invigorating for me to see that in the, in the midst of what's going on in the country as a whole. Thank you.